before the head of NATO and U.S. forces in Afghanistan, getting the Afghan army to keep its frontline troops supplied is a priority. What's the biggest challenge that you have? The soldier tells General John Allen that there are 40 vehicles waiting for parts. Journalists on this trip to a military base in southwestern Afghanistan were not allowed to interview the soldiers working here. But off camera, the mechanics tell us that a lack of spares means there's been no maintenance here for a month. What we are seeing is being staged for General Allen's benefit and ours. The Afghan army says it carries out 70% of the operations out of this base on its own now. And when coalition forces eventually pull out, they'll leave behind them just two or three small advisory teams. But the mangled wreckage of vehicles hit by roadside bombs shows just how important it will be to keep supply lines working. They're getting after, very importantly, the challenge, which is the challenge that we face across the entire Afghan National Army, and that is logistics. But you'll remember, we built the combat units first. And those logistic units are coming online just now. So we've got work to do, uh, but the good news is they're enthusiastic and the good news is they're ready to embrace being fully independent. That enthusiasm is clear in the Afghan general in charge of this base. Tell me, where is the enemy? The enemy has been pushed out from this region. I keep hearing the media talk about the enemy being here, but I don't see them. We've soundly defeated the enemy. I'm proud of the Afghan security forces. But what Brigadier General Waseya needs is a dramatic improvement in logistics if he's to have a chance to hold on to the security gains that have been made here. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Nimroz province, Afghanistan.